Failure on the homestead. It happens. It's not easy to admit or put on camera here, but um, we've lost a number of animals lately. One of our full-grown chickens died of uh, natural causes. She was an old chicken, one of our first. Just found her dead in the uh, nest box inside the chicken coop. But we, uh, we just yesterday lost a couple of baby rabbits. And uh, the other day we lost a, a few of our young chickens after we moved them to uh, to the mini cooper as a grow out coop. Some predator was able to get in and uh, got a couple of them. I was thinking, I was thinking that a raccoon or something somehow managed to get up and lift this lid and get in there because I hadn't latched the, uh, the lid down real tight. So I, I went ahead and made sure to do that, latched it. Lo and behold, today I come out and I've got a bunch of dead chickens in the Mini Cooper. I'm not sure if I should show you, but I'll go ahead and film it just in case I decide to put it in here. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, seven or eight dead chickens in there. The only way something could have gotten in would have been through this back with the nest boxes. And I put the bar here specifically so they would have a hard time getting through, but Clearly it wasn't enough. Our first round of chickens never had a problem. Just this one. Whatever's getting the chickens has gotten a little smarter than, than the precautions we're taking. I'm gonna have to just close this up maybe with a piece of plywood or something to protect the remaining chickens.
I was wrong about the nest box opening being the only possible access point. The next day a couple more chickens had been killed, so I started screwing in more fasteners along the bottom panels. We think it's possibly COVID-19 related. With fewer restaurants throwing out food, the scavengers are probably starving enough to make our chickens the easy target. Wendy heard a commotion one night, so I ran out in my bathroom with a flashlight and can confirm that it was in fact a raccoon that has been getting our chickens. The raccoon got in again on another night and I had to come back and put screws into practically every single valley of this uh, plastic paneling on the side of the Mini Cooper. Uh, nothing should be getting in there now. <laughs> I found a baby bunny in our carport. It must have fallen out of the cage with its mother, and it was cold, but it was still moving. So, Wendy put the bunny in the oven. <laughs> so... If your oven has kind of a low temp or a warm or something like that, that I wouldn't do it at a normal oven temperature. So don't go put in your rabbits to warm them up in your oven. But this is a, a it's I can probably touch the burner even. It's a little hot, but it's fine. So now the baby is wiggling around again and fine, and she's he or she's doing pretty good. So. You can see she's on just a little kitchen towel that I grabbed quick to, just for something to put her on. Ooh, she's a lot warmer than she yeah. was when I had her. Yeah. So. Yep. So that's that's a good way to do it, I think. Let's just get her nice and warm again. Yeah. Here, let me hold the little buddy. Well, she wants to be in the heat, Brian. You're... <laughs> Let's put her back on the warm. Let's put her back on the warm towel. Because she's shivering. Yeah, not sure what happened with her, but we can put her back in with her mama and see what she I think does. She's good enough to go back in now. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do that. Let's see if she, if the mother accepts her. guess would be that she probably got out up to here when Marigold was nursing her because sometimes they stay latched on if they're good and latched on and then kind of went through the little cage here so I'm gonna push this back 
a little bit so that it's not so close. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll just shove a little bit of this stuff in there so that if that happens again, you know, there's something gross. In the oh, no. Oh, that is dead funny. Mm, that's too bad. right there. I should have been checking her a little bit more often. So much stuff happening right now. Might not have been able to do anything anyways. And I'm pretty sure with the first, second one I pulled out, like, there's something wrong with it. So it looked like it had a deformity or something. So, but I'm guessing the other one came out because it was nursing. And maybe these ones were just the day they were born and they look a little smaller even. So, so now it's farming. Homestead life. Sometimes there's dead bunnies. <laughs>